Good morning, everybody, and welcome to another episode of my SnowRunner modding tutorial series. Um, today we're going to focus on fixing the problems that we're having with this model at the moment. Um, in the last episode, we got it to show up in game. Now we need to fix things like the wheel positioning, um, the axles clipping through the ground here, and I think that's probably going to take care of this video, uh, this episode. Uh, that's going to take a little while to do, so let's get right into it. First thing we need to do is we're going to need to raise this truck up high enough so these axles are no longer going through the ground. Um, that will allow us to line up our wheels much better. So, in order to raise this up, we need to go into Blender. So I'm going to shrink this down so we're not listening to that background noise all the time. And if you remember back... <clears throat> now, if you remember back um, a couple episodes ago when we were first setting this up, I said that this red line and subsequently when we turn this direction, the green line, um, where those intersect is where the ground is. And if you look, if we come to a complete perfect sideways, the axles are underground. So in order to fix that, we are going to need to move everything upwards. So we'll turn everything on, we'll turn off the armature so we'll hide that and that way there we can select all and grab everything except for the armature now that we've selected all we can turn the armature back on it's not actually selected but it's visible we are going to want to move these axles up and we got to kind of guess on where the location of the wheel is going to be so I'm going to say it's going to be right about here. It's going to be somewhere around there, which is approximately where these bones are that I had said initially. I got a feeling something along the lines when I did one of the one of the um, all transforms, it shifted everything down. I'm not sure exactly when that happened, um, but I got a feeling this is pretty much where we're going to want this. So we're going to apply all transforms again. Um, we will turn off the bumpers because they are not part of the main truck. We will select all. So we select the armature again, file, export, FBX. Since this is a new instance of Blender, we have to navigate back, media, mods, tutorial, meshes, trucks, and the tutorial truck. We're only doing the selected objects because we don't want those bumpers, the armature and the mesh, and apply our experimental transform. Back to here, mod manager, my tutorial truck, reconvert it. And we should see this whole truck pop upwards. Did. The axle's still stuck underground though. I'm not sure why that is. What we could do is move it and try to respawn. See if that changes it. Maybe it was a glitch in the game. Something with. it's not liking with that front bone. Keeping that front bone underground. Looking at the location of this rear axle though, I can tell overall the model's a little too high. So I'll have to lower that down a little bit. Do the same thing we just did. We're gonna come in, hide this, turn the bumpers back on. The reason why I'm doing that is so the bumpers move with the body and they stay put. That way I don't have to re actually move them again later. 
Select all. Armature back on. Pull it down a little ways. And what I think I'm going to do is I'm going to try to move this front bone a little bit. And to move an axle up, we actually have to move the bone down. So we're going to move this bone down a little ways. And we'll see if that helps. So we can go back out of edit mode. Select it, select all, apply all transforms, apply export, FBX. Export. Again, on the truck. See how things move. Okay, we're pretty close to being the right height. I'm still not sure why this suspension is going underground. Go into my game, Snow Runner Media Mods. So let's open up the suspension file and take a look. It's going to be in the tutorial classes suspensions. Now the default suspension has a height. Point one, both front and rear. Why is it working in the rear but not the front? Hmm. Let me do some investigating and I'll be back. Okay, so after some experimentation and whatnot, I have found, I have not found the cause, but I found a solution. Um, Every once in a while, things go a bit haywire, and SnowRunner starts doing things that nobody can explain. And in the community, we just call them SnowRunner things. SnowRunner's doing SnowRunner things. So unfortunately, this is one of those instances where SnowRunner is doing something completely unexplainable, and there's no rhyme or reason as to why it's doing it. Maybe there is, on a very advanced level, it's beyond my knowledge and uh, my, my understanding as to why it's happening. So the solution to fix the problem, if your model following this tutorial is doing the same thing as mine, where only the front bone is somehow deciding to stretch out completely and, and be totally weird, you can adjust the the location of each of these axle bones. If you come into edit mode, use the move tool, you can move these up and down. However, they have the reverse effect to what you want them to do. Meaning, as I move this bone down in the game, this axle is going to move up. So what I'm trying gonna try to do is get this axle even with the center of the wheels. The rear one's pretty close. I do need to move it down a little bit, meaning I need to move this bone up. So up, axle goes down, bone goes down, axle goes up. So I need to move that one up a little bit and move that one down a little bit. So I've already moved that one down a little bit. We're going to move this one up just a smidge. Come back out, select all. File transforms, export, X, export, game, mod. And we should see this axle drop down a little bit, and we should see this one move up a little bit. We are fairly close. That front axle still needs to move up a little more. 
I'm not real happy having this axle bone so far underground, but I did take the truck out for a test drive before I started filming again, and it behaved fine. The, this axle didn't seem to get caught in the ground or underground or anything, so I think it's gonna be okay. Okay, that's looking pretty good. So what I'm gonna do now is start to move those wheels. We gotta try to move these. They're gonna have to go forward and backwards and side to side because they're tucked way too far in right now. But too far in is a good thing at this moment. And I will show you why. These are the positions of every wheel that's on the truck. If there was, you know, three axles or four axles for a really large truck, there'd be even more wheel positions. So we've got the two fronts and the two rears. What we're going to do is come into position and the way it works is the higher the value, the further forward it is lower value the further backwards it goes the middle one is height which i usually keep at zero and this is from the factory from the template so let's put these back to zero usually i don't mess with them so i'm not sure how saver is doing that What I'm going to do is, we're just going to save it and reload it and see what happens with that height change. Don't think anything's going to happen, but... Ah, see? It actually brought the truck up. Which is going to change our suspension values. So we're going to put those back. Just undo that. and then we'll just focus on moving them front and back. So we will need to move them forward a little bit. I'll put in an extra 0.2 of those. And we're just, I usually just focus on moving one side at a time. So I'll just pick the fronts and only move the fronts around until I get it pretty close. And it moved it a little bit. We're gonna have to go a decent jump higher. So I'm gonna go with a 0.4 increase. This is why I like having two windows open at the same time. I don't have to keep switching full screen with the game. Now this shows my example of how it's really good to have the wheels inset real deep. The axle's poking through and it gives us a really good way of seeing exactly where they are. trying to use my controller to use the free cam and it's extremely sensitive. So now I think I want to go with another 0.2. So it's going to be 0 0.2. Just keep slowly increasing that number until we get it where we want it. If we shoot too far, we just come back down a little we did shoot too far. So, we're gonna go down to 1.9. We'll just kinda narrow it down, narrow it down until we get it pretty much right in there. Looks like we could move backwards a little bit. So 
So let's try taking off the sevens. That's only a small fraction of movement. Probably not even going to be enough to be noticeable, but we'll see. Well, actually, we need to move forward. So let's go. It is easy to get confused as to which way you're going. Perfectly fine for what we're doing. Reload. It wasn't even really noticeable, but pretty good. So now we'll go to the rears and we'll adjust those front to rear. Um, and they're at a negative number, they're below zero. Zero would be the center point of this truck. So we need to go beyond the, the back side of it. Um, judging by how much we had to move the front, we'll move these six. We're just a tiny bit. I think that's going to be good. Yeah. Okay, so now we got to work on width. Because they are way tucked in, way too much. What I'm going to do is try to get it with the side angle here. If you notice, the axle is actually still a little bit too high. I think that's still going to be acceptable once we get the wheels out. I don't think you're going to be able to notice that off-center quite that bad. I could be wrong. In which case, we'll have to adjust the bones on the, the truck once again. Um, so we want to come outward. Outward is going to be a larger number. Remember, zero is the center of the truck. We want to move away from the center so we can pull these out. larger numbers. It's probably going to be too much, but we'll see. The way we can tell if it's too much is to look at, remember I said this camp was extremely sensitive. It is a bit too much. It looks like those wheels are not really touching. Come on. Barely touching this controller stick. But it looks like to me that this wheel is not quite touching. Typically what I like to do, just to make sure, is I'll keep moving my wheels inward, inward, inward until I just start to see the axle poking through and then I move them back out a little bit. And then I'll cycle through all the different wheel options and make sure that none of them are poking through. This truck, again, is more of just a tutorial on how to do everything. So we'll leave it just as that. So now we have the wheels all set. We are probably going to want to set bigger wheels for default, but that's okay. 
we could also lower this truck down some more in the suspension settings. Fault suspension. And that'll make those wheels look a little more appropriate. Set the strength to zero, you can then see how far up and down the wheels are allowed to move. If you hit reload. <laughs> okay, so that is absolutely maxed out as far down as the axles are going. Which is pretty good because the axles are smashing into the bottom of the truck. So it must be a strength. We may actually need to adjust the height of the wheels just to get this to drop down a little further. looking more appropriate. If we increase the tire size a bit, that'll give us the look that we want for this truck. To change tire sizes, that is going to be in this compatible wheel section. So it's always going to default to the smallest wheel size of whatever the default wheel was listed at the top. What I'm going to do is change these and increase them a bit. And just to make it easier to find the compatible wheels, because we will end up coming back to compatible wheels later. I'll put a couple spaces in, it just makes it a little easier to see them. So now if I reload, we should see these wheels expand out. Okay, so just to recap, to move an object within the XML files, it's always this position equals, and then it's three numbers, and you will see the first number being front to back of the vehicle, the second number is always up and down, and the third number is always left and right. Um, we will be coming back to that to set light locations and whatnot. I'll show you an easy way to set where your light bulbs go using Blender. Um, same thing with winch points, crane points. Um, you see there's position for this light flare. Um, if we come down, the headlights all have an origin, which is the same format as position, up, down, uh, front, back, up, down, left, right. The crane sockets is where you can pick the truck up with a crane 
again, front back, up down, left right. So in the next episode, I will add some more wheels and we will add in the sockets for the front and rear bumpers so we can then it's thus have them removable or whatnot. Okay, um, hope you enjoyed the video, hope you learned something, and stay tuned. I'll see you in the next one. Thanks.